class. Welcome to today's math lesson. My name is Mrs. Lawson and I am so glad that you are here to learn with me today. Today we are going to be adding two two-digit numbers and we are going to make sure that the sum or the answer is always more than 100. Are you ready? I'm going to give one to you to start with. I'm going to say the number we're going to add the number 63 plus hmm, 52. Now, just by looking at it, I already know that our sum or the answer is going to be more than 100. Can you figure out why I know that the answer is going to be more than 100? I want you to think about it. If you don't know yet, pause the video and look at the question and think, how come you could already tell this is going to be more than 100? We're going to start off by adding our ones place. We have three plus two. So if we have three, four, five would be our answer. We're going to write five in our ones place. Now let's move over to our tens place. We have two digits in our tens place, six plus five. Well, that is a doubles plus one fact. Did you recognize that? Five plus five is 10. So what would five plus six be? I hope you said 11. 63 plus 52 is 115. How did I know that the sum of this question was going to be more than 100? Hmm, it's because I looked at my tens place and I knew that 5 plus 6, that was not going to fit in one place. And I knew the answer was going to be 11 to that part. Let's look at this question. I have 78 plus 71 and I want you to think. Hmm, is the answer going to be more than 100? Will our sum be greater than 100? Well, let's find out. We're going to start by adding our ones place. 8 plus 1, easy peasy. That's 9. And then here we have a doubles fact in our tens place. 7 plus 7 is 14. Hmm. How did I know that this question was going to have a sum greater than 100? Do you know? I looked at my tens place and I could tell that 7 plus 7 was going to be bigger than 10. So I knew that my answer was going to be more than 100. All right, I'm going to try another one. It might be a trick. All right, I have written 23 plus 24 on the board. And I want you to think, is the sum of this question going to be greater than 100? Look here in our tens place. If we add those two digits, will it be greater than 10? No. Let's start here in our ones place. 3 plus 4 is a doubles plus 1 fact. 3 plus 3 is 6, so 3 plus 4 will be 7. And now when we look in our tens place, we have a doubles fact. 2 plus 2 is 4. 47 is our sum. Is that greater than 100? Mm -mm -mm. It's not. And I knew that before I even answered the question. Did you know that before you answered the question? If we looked in our tens place, we could tell that 2 plus 2 was not going to be greater than 10. Well, let's try another one. I have written 92 plus 92 on the board. And I hope that you can tell if the sum of this will be greater than 100 or not. Will it be greater than 100? Hmm, 9 plus 9, is that the answer going to be more than 10? It will be. The sum will be quite a bit more than 10. Well, let's do this together. We're going to start here in our ones place. 2 plus 2 is, that's an easy double fact, 4. And then we'll move over to our tens place. 9 plus 9 is 
18. Oh dear, that is so much bigger than 10. So here we have our one in our 100s place, our eight in our 10s place, and our four in our ones place. The sum of 92 plus 92 is 184. I am gonna give you a little test. Are you ready? Class, I have written six numbers on the board. Hmm, can you find two of those that if you added them together, the sum would be greater than 100? I would like for you to find two and then test it. I'm gonna give you another challenge. Can you find two numbers that if you added them together, the sum would be less than 100? I want you to try both of those and see if you're right. Oh class, thank you so much for learning with me today. I am giving you a challenge. I would like to see if you can create some of your own questions. Do you know ahead of time if your sum will be greater than 100? I would like for you to try. Have a wonderful day class. Bye-bye.